So it seems that this guy is the faulty unit. Interestingly, the car runs without it. Funny, huh? I'm missing a main fuse box in the car and the car still runs. Great engineering. So, let's try to break this thing up and see what's inside. It's causing a problem. I'll start with taking this one out. Gently pushing. Push a little harder, maybe. To the side, no. I don't want to break it. Press them down gently, or you can raise the other plastic part, just like this. We'll be doing this all around, so loose now, coming off, I will push it gently, it slides back, so uh, this is our unit, and initial glance I didn't like the looks of uh, these solder, solder joints, but I think we'll be looking for a short circuit somehow. I think if I loosen here and here, uh, this part will come out too easily. So, this side's okay.
it is just the only the switch is broken. I can cut this thing and this thing uh, so that the circuit here can be flipped. So I can remove the switch and try to replace it. And see what happens. So I loosen up the circuit and uh, loosen up those jump points. So this is just a plastic part, uh, the switch as well, I think that's a bad end down there. Okay, we got this broken headlight unit and now we are with Alper. Hello. Alper is my good friend. He's an electronics engineer. Uh, yes, we are going to be taking a look at this. Yes. Let's see what's wrong. Uh, there seems to be a uh, really large flexible PCB going all around it. Yep. With not many components. Right. So let's see if we can fix it. So you, sh you see any chance? Uh, should never know but well let's see let's let's give it a try right yeah i'm gonna give it a try exactly all right stay tuned